Hello Pickles, welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you're new here, I'm Kia Sims and today I am back with a tutorial video where I will be showing you guys how to use the tool mod or at least how I use the tool mod which if you don't know what that is, tool mod is a mod that basically means take objects off a lot and it was created by the talented mod creator T Maxi, and it's a mod that allows you to naturally and take objects off of your sims lot and put them out into the world but it also allows you to resize items, elevate them, rotate them, and just get much more detailed with building in The Sims 4. And so before we jump into the video, y'all know I have to go ahead and thank this video sponsor, which of course is Instant Gaming. If y'all have watched my other videos, you already know me and Instant Gaming are like this, okay? We're locked in. But if you don't know what Instant Gaming is, it is a website where you can buy legitimate discounted games. So this of course includes Sims 4 packs. As a matter of fact, it's actually where I buy a majority of my own packs, the 4 rent expansion pack being the latest one I personally purchase. But they also have other popular games like Cyberpunk, Resident Evil, etc. And again, everything on their website is discounted. <laughs> like, I understand why people be hesitant to buy from there. They be like, girl, this seems too good to be true. Um, but I promise y'all, it is a 100% legitimate website where you can buy cheap games off of. And so if that is something that you would be interested in, make sure you guys use my affiliate link in my bio and head to their website and see all the games that they offer and i do earn a small commission off of any purchases made using my link so i would definitely definitely appreciate it and also don't forget to join the monthly giveaway hosted by instant gaming the link is always available in the description down below but yeah, let's get back into the video. And so basically, the main reason why I think I get tons of people asking me questions about how to use this mod is because there can be a bit of a learning curve when you're first learning how to use it. It can definitely be overwhelming and most people, understandably, don't want to go through all the trouble of trying to figure it out. So in this video, I'm just going to do my best to explain how I personally use the tool mod in my own game. I want to clarify that I'm not an expert on all of the mods like abilities and features okay i'm literally just a girl and so if there's certain things that you see me do in this tutorial that you're like hey that's not how this person does it and so and so then yeah you're, you're probably right um but i'm just gonna be showing y'all what works for me personally and how i personally use the tool mod and so of course before you even open up your game you'll actually need to download the tool mod off of tmaxi's website but for the way that i use the tool mod you're also going to need to download their other mod which is the better build by mod and the reason why you're going to need both of these mods is because the better build by mod is actually what allows you to use the tool mod while you're in build by mode if you only have the tool mod installed you can of course still use the tool mod but you'll only be able to use it from live mode and I'm going to be doing everything in this tutorial from build mode as I usually do so that is why I'm making it a requirement for this video but you of course download both mods like normal and once you open up their zips they're both gonna come in their own folders with a little note saying to simply place the entire folder in your mods folder so you're going to do that so that it looks a little something like this on the screen but from here we're going to actually go ahead and open up our game and I'll see y'all once my game is loaded and so we are now in game and I just went ahead and loaded us into a fresh save. So this is just a normal untouched Willow Creek that we're looking at right now. And we're basically going to use the tool mod to add an extra layer of realism to the save. And so the first thing that you're probably going to want to think about before you even open up build mode is what items do you want to place down in the world? And I think it could be helpful sometimes to remember what world you're working on and if you're working in like a residential area or a more commercial area where you want to put down bars and restaurants and stuff and so obviously this is a pretty residential area in Willow Creek and so I'm probably not gonna put down like any palm trees or big billboards or anything like that so I'm just gonna try and stay consistent with the things that I would see in an actual residential area so things like cars telephone lines maybe basketball hoops and I'm really just gonna scroll through my build mode for a second and just place anything that I think I want to include on the lot and so that's what I'm gonna go ahead and do right now I'm gonna go ahead and go into build mode bulldoze this lot and I will cut back with y'all once I have everything placed on the lot that I want to try to put in the world 
Okay, and so I am back and I know it's kind of a lot going on, but basically I went ahead and I've put down some things that I'm just going to try to sprinkle along in the world. And so obviously we have a bunch of like signs, we have stop signs, speed limit signs, some um, like street indicator signs. We also have some trash cans and trash bags. We have some realty signs letting you know like property is available. We of course have a bunch of cars. We have a police car, a school bus, some just regular cars, some Amazon Prime trucks, FedEx. I think there's another car back there. Um, yeah, a UPS truck. And then of course I also went over here and I got a, what's it called? A little like I don't know what these are called, but you know, the little indicator signs letting you know like you're in a, a certain area of houses. I also have a mailbox here and I set up like three kind of little scenes that I want to try to keep together. So over here, I use some deco sims and I just went ahead and made a cute little like Girl Scouts table. And then back here, I of course made a quick little um, parking, not, hello, parking? No. <laughs> I went ahead and made a quick little bus stop. And then back here, which is, I guess, bigger, um, obviously. But I went ahead and made just a quick little playground area. And so these are all separate items, obviously. So we have, like, this here. We have some toys here. And the swing set and everything. And then over here, I just put some, like, tables. Because I want it to all be kind of unified when I move it. But... I'm going to show you all how to do it step by step first. So we're just going to start off easy. And I think the first thing that we should maybe actually work on is maybe the cars just to get them out of our way. But yes, so let's go ahead and begin. And so the first thing you're going to want to do once you have tool mod and better build by installed is to open up the little tool mod extension. You're going to hold down shift T. And that's going to bring up the tool mod and you can move this i believe it'll automatically be over here when you first open it but you can move it around to just about any place on your screen and so i'm just going to put it like kind of off to the side right here and now when this is open you're officially in tool mod like or tool mode <laughs> and so what that basically does is instead of like regularly moving items you're now going to be in a position where you can only move things like through tool mod and so if you want to go back to regularly moving things you would just hold down shift t again it would disappear and now when you try to click things they're movable regularly again so i'm just going to go ahead and open tool mod back up and so basically the reason why i have um the better build by mod and the reason why i do everything in build mode is because it allows you to be more accurate or i guess not more accurate but it allows you to do certain things more easily so for example i want to start with these cars and i want to move this school bus onto the road if i were to just do that through tool mod i would have to click it and then i would have to like rotate it and find all the appropriate numbers and blah 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 when in reality it would just be easier to just grab this regularly rotate it two times and then put it down and now I can just open the tool mod and if I want to move it, I just click the school bus and then I click where I want it to be. And I don't have to mess with rotating. I don't have to mess with the move option and using the grid lines or anything. That's why I prefer to use this in build by mode because it is so, so, so much easier. And so that is basically how I get things off lot. Um, you can move them. Like I said, if you know your X and your Y's, if you know all the decimal values, you can enter those manually. But I am terrible at math, so I avoid that like the plague. I choose to just simply move things around by clicking. And obviously, once it's in a spot where you're like, okay, I like it there, you just click it again and it's unselected. And now you can either click something else entirely or you can get out of tool mod again by hitting shift T. And so I'm going to go ahead and open shift T back up again. But let's say you do want to actually rotate this item um, using tool mod. You don't want to like rotate it over here and then move it. So what you're going to do is you're going to click on the school bus. And let's say I want it facing the other way. I'm just going to come over here to rotate. And what I like to do just to make sure that I'm like set to the right axis and everything. Because when you're rotating items, basically there's two ways you can possibly rotate items. There's one rotation where it'll go like either left or right. And then there's a rotation where the bus will like start going like 
like top up and everything so i do a small number you can insert any number between negative 360 to 360 obviously 360 would be completely around so there would be no change if i put this to 360 because it's it's a complete circle but if i were to do one let's just say 190 um now you can see it's kind of at an angle it's it's almost the exact other way around and so I'm just going to go ahead and undo that from options. Um, but yeah, if I wanted it to be facing the other way around completely, I would just go here to rotate. And obviously half of 360 is 180. So if I want it to be facing exactly the other way, that's all I would click. And that's how you rotate items like that. And so I do think I actually want to keep this bus facing this way, which means it needs to go back on this side of the road. So I'm going to go ahead and just click it here. And I want to use this moment to show y'all something else. And so as y'all can see, you know, I'm pretty close or I went ahead and clicked where I wanted it to be on the road. But maybe I'm like looking at it and I'm like, mm, that bus a little too close to the curb, but I don't want to want it to be way over here. And so there's a way where you can slightly shift things over with the tool mod. And in order to do that, all you're going to do is hold down the alt key and then you're going to click in the direction you want it to softly move. And so as you can see, instead of going all the way over here through a click, when I do alt movements it's just moving slowly in that direction and the further you try to make it move the greater the gaps are going to be so if you want it to just move a little bit in a direction you're still going to want to be as close as possible as you can be and so i'm just going to go ahead and use that i'm going to try to get it like right here a little bit more this way and that's good that's good to me period and so i'm going to go ahead and take that off but next, I want to show y'all how to move things um, in, as a group. And so as y'all can see over here, I have this little DIY Girl Scouts stand. And so I'm going to go ahead and open back up Shift T. And basically, I want to move everything over here, but I don't want to do it one by one because things might get slightly different from how they're placed over here on the lot. And so how you do that, again, you're just holding down Alt. And with Alt held down, you're just clicking on each individual item. And as you can see, it's multi-selecting. And so I'm going to click everything over here that I want to be grouped together, all these. The only thing is, if this was an actual table and these were actually slotted up here, you wouldn't click these. Because for some reason, if you highlight these items, if they're properly slotted on, type of, on top of a table, they'll disappear. So... Let me actually show y'all better what I mean when I say that. So as y'all can see, this is not slotted on the table. Like it's not, it's not actually on the table. It's just like that through like me putting it as close as I could be. But if I were to actually have these placed on the table, I would basically highlight things like this. I would highlight everything except the things on the table because if I try to move it over, the things on the table will literally disappear into the void. But since that's not the case here, I'll go ahead and show y'all with just this. And so we have everything all selected in green now. And now to move it, just like I was showing y'all earlier, we're just going to click where we want it to move and it moves as a consistent group. And so I'm going to go ahead and put the Girl Scouts table right here. And I'm just using Alt Click to kind of get it more specifically on the sidewalk. So actually, let's back it up a little bit because we're kind of off sidewalk right now. And once I'm at a place where I think it looks good, I just click off of it just like that. And so just in case I wasn't super clear what I, what I was saying before with things being slotted to a table, I want to show y'all with this over here. And so this is a little um, boom box. It's a deco boom box. It's not a real boom box, but it's slotted on the table right now. And so if I were to press this and try to move this, everything disappears. So I'm going to go ahead and undo that. But if I unselect the boom box and then try to move it, as you can see, it works properly. And so that's what I was trying to explain a second ago with making sure like if you have something slotted on top of a table, don't select the actual slotted items. They will just move by themselves. And so now that I think I've kind of explained that in a way that's not too 
difficult to understand. I might be. Let me let me know actually if it if it's still like confusing in any way. But now I'm just gonna show y'all how I would do this road. And so I'm just going to be turning all these cars. I'm gonna turn some. Oh, not the not the not the telephone line. But I'm just gonna turn some cars this way. Turn some cars this way. I just prefer to do it on the lot itself instead of actually in um live mode or in any other mode i just i just think this is easier oh and i am just now realizing this car has no doors okay um it's fine it's it's literally so fine and so we're just gonna go ahead and put some cars actually on the other side of the road and so i'm holding up shift t again um and let's start with this actually i changed my mind i want more of these cars facing this way and then we can have these cars facing this way yeah like that okay so i'm opening shift t back up and so let's go ahead and take this car and let's just try to put it right there and so all i'm doing is clicking and then once i think it's where i want it to be i'm clicking it again to get rid of it so let's do the same for this truck right here let's put it up here if i want to get a little bit more accurate with them being directly in front of the other i'm watching I'm just holding down alt as I'm clicking to kind of get the placement to be more accurate and then I actually want it more forward so hold on like right there we can go ahead and do that and so as y'all can see I'm just continuing with what I was doing before I'm just putting these cars back on the street trying to get them as accurate as I think I want them to be I think I'm gonna move this um, bus a little bit further from the curve actually or actually I'm gonna rotate it again I'm gonna rotate you 180 degrees and I'm gonna put it more on this side of the road again so that it looks like it's like actively driving away just like that let me make sure you're on the right side of the road buddy hold on like over here more so but yeah there we go and so the next thing I think I'm gonna move oh well let me finish up with the cars first hold on okay and so I went ahead and put majority of the cars down um as y'all can see I made some like little changes because I'm indecisive I went ahead and put the bus back over here by the curb but now I think the next thing I'm gonna mess with is these telephone lines that I have um they're by a banana hut down here I p literally put these like on every lot where I think it makes sense because I just love how telephone lines look off lot and so real quick I'm actually gonna go ahead and duplicate these um to duplicate items i'm just like holding down shift as i click it again um, but i'm just gonna get two so one for each side of the road and again i'm pressing shift t i'm just clicking the literal telephone line and i'm clicking where i approximately want it to be placed and i'm just using alt alt is kind of funny with these telephone lines because the object is so large but i'm just using alt to try and get it more accurately placed down and so just like that, I'm going to leave it like that. And we're going to do the same thing with this side. Um, I would prefer the telephone line not go through the Girl Scouts little stand over there if possible. Um, I think that's pretty lined up on both sides, actually. Let me see. Um, let's get it a little bit more on the curb, maybe. Let's get you a little bit more this way. Like right about there, I think. And so that is how I go ahead and do the telephone lines. And already you can see like just the street is looking much more alive and just, I don't know, just just much cuter in my opinion. Um, also, I changed my mind about this car. Hold on. I'm going to go ahead and move it just because it's kind of hard to see behind this prime truck. And so I'm going to put it over here behind the UBS um, truck and I'm just going to put it right there. But yeah, as y'all can see, the road already looks much nicer, much more realistic. Um, I think it would look better like as a street if we went ahead and replaced these lots. So I'll go ahead and do that later. I won't do that right now. Um, also, I'm going to make one last little change. I'm going to move this little Girl Scouts thing right here since they seem to have like more, what's it called, sideways sp uh, space over here. And so I'm just selecting all of this by holding down alt again. Oopsie, let me undo what I just did. Actually, I moved it slightly. But I'm just holding down alt as I'm clicking. And I'm just clicking over here. Oh, wait, I forgot to I forgot to select the register. Oh, the register actually, actually fell through the table. So I'm actually going to show y'all how to fix that through the elevate option. Um, but let me just make sure I'm putting it exactly where I want it to be. 
I want it to be visible and not fully behind the Amazon. Or not the Amazon. Oh yeah, the Amazon truck. So let me move Amazon truck up a little bit. Let me move the school bus up a little bit. And there we go. I think that's a little better. And so let me actually show y'all how we can elevate this. So as y'all can see, it fell to the table. I believe I was using the keyboard shortcuts control nine to lift it. And I guess it didn't um, stay that way once I started using the tool mod. But to elevate things, of course, you're just gonna go back here on the tool mod with the register selected and highlighted in green. We're just going to go to elevate and as you can see you can enter any number between negative 25 and 25 but the key here is to start with small numbers when you're elevating because if you go way up to 10 like well i i don't even know where it went like hold on like look like we're in the sky you know the key here is to use very small numbers so i just went ahead and undid that and i'm gonna start with a much smaller number i'm gonna go ahead and try one and as you can see even with one it's still too high and so i'm gonna go back and with elevate and now i'm gonna go into the negatives and this is where you got to start pulling out a little bit of decimal knowledge so obviously half of one is 0.5 so we're just gonna do minus 0.5 and now it's too low and so you're just kind of just messing with that so i'm gonna try raising it 0.2 um it's a little bit higher but we need a little bit more i'm gonna try 0.2 again it's still too high now so we're gonna go negative 0.1 and i think we can go a little bit higher so i'm gonna go elevate 0 0.005 um actually i can go higher than that 0 0.05 and there we go that looks like that looks like a good a good a good distance off the ground and so that is how you actually elevate things with the tool mod um, let's go ahead and move this little lacy oaks sign the real estate sign i think it would be nice to have it maybe maybe closer to the end of the street so maybe down here this is one downside actually to using the tool mod in build mode so obviously as y'all can see it's it's harder to get to the end of the block over here because i'm confined to this lot in build mode which is why some people choose to use this mod um in live mode since obviously you can go like anywhere you want you won't be as confined to ever here but this is just a sacrifice i'm willing to make because i i just prefer using it in in build by mode and so we're gonna go ahead and move this one actually before i move that sign i'm actually gonna go ahead and grab this little grindstone estate sign this is by scody yodi by the way and i think i want it to be like on this corner right here so i'm gonna go ahead and rotate it just like that um yeah and i'm gonna go ahead shift t I'm gonna click it and i'm gonna try to place it down and i'm gonna move it with alt just a little bit um just so that it's right there on the corner and so it kind of looks like it's about to introduce you to like this street of houses and everything and so let's go ahead i don't actually know where i want to put this sign anymore maybe i'll keep it back over here and just move it like this and then we can go ahead and try to do the same with this one i'll just kind of like overlap them or not overlap but you know put them close maybe I don't know that's subject to change um but anyways so i also i also want to get this stop sign real quick because it looks like right here it would be the perfect place for a stop sign so i'm just gonna move the stop sign to the point where i think it would look make sense being rotated i'm gonna click it and i'm gonna do my best to get over here and there we go and it's kind of hard to see it looks like it's a little far so i'm gonna press down alt oh moved it too far i'm just gonna use alt so that i don't have to be super accurate and try to use that to get it exactly where i think it should be placed you'll notice that there's certain spots where if you try to click on it in the sims um items won't move at all and if that's happening like as y'all can see i'm clicking way over here and the stop sign is not moving it's just because this is not a clickable area in the sims so you have to make sure you're clicking like a clickable area where sims can walk typically and so just like that we have a cute little stop sign period and so i guess i will do i think i'll go ahead and do the stop or not the stop sign the bus stop over here now which i'm thinking i want to put it right here now where i just moved the girl scouts to so i'm real quickly gonna just move them again so sorry if y'all are sick of seeing them be relocated um but hold on let me just i don't know we're gonna find a spot for them hold on 
but this is all that using the tool mod really is just figuring out like what you like what you don't like and all that okay and so let's go ahead and we're gonna use alt click to get everything over here by the bus stop including this little sign maybe even the fire hydrant why not and then we're just gonna click over here and i'm using alt to try and get it placed down more accurately and so is that a good spot for it? i think that's a good spot for it actually um the only thing i might move is these signs actually i'm just gonna put them over there and yeah i think i'm actually gonna move this fire hydrant though i'm gonna move it closer to i don't know i guess over here no actually i don't like how that looks <laughs> i'm gonna move it closer to over here maybe and i'll move this sign like right here somewhere okay just like that and so there we go um next i want to go ahead and move this basketball hoop um i want to move it just right here at the end of this little i don't know if it's called cul-de-sac but i just want to move it right there also i want to go ahead and see if there's other colors for it oh there's just one that doesn't have the little sticker decals but i'm just gonna click it and then click right here and then i'm also going to use alt to try and center it a little better and there we go and when you put down functional objects like this with the tool mod um as long as like there's no routing issues so like with the basketball hoop as long as there's nothing directly in front of it blocking it sims can actually come over here and still use the basketball hoop and so i'm gonna get this little basketball um decor item and i'm gonna just put it down right there so that it kind of looks like you know somebody was playing and then they left real quick um as for this little mailbox i don't know if they do this everywhere but i remember i lived in an area where um even though i lived in a the house they like still had like a mailbox that you had to like walk to so your mailbox wasn't directly like outside your house you actually like if you lived right here your mailbox may have been like way down here or it was usually the other way around like if you lived right here your mailbox was probably way up here and so that is kind of what i wanted to do with this one and so i'm gonna put this mailbox i think down here maybe like right there so i'm opening up uh shift t the tool mod and i'm just clicking right there at the end of the street and putting it down just like that now obviously since that is not actually on a house or anything it should not function as an actual mailbox like i believe you will still have to have an actual mailbox on this lot that's just for the sake of decor and so next up i want to show y'all a little bit about scaling with the tool mod and so as y'all can see i have these trash bins and i have all these trash bags but the trash bags are kind of overpowering in my opinion they're kind of they're, they're a little big and so i'm just going to click these trash bags and i want to make them basically a little smaller and so to do that you're just going to go right here to scale and it says you can insert any value between 0 and 25 and again the tip here is to start with small numbers like the tip will always be start with small numbers not super tiny to the point where like objects disappear and are like invisible but small enough so that you'll notice the changes but with scaling it's a little bit easy and so you should just remember with scaling that the default size of everything is one what did i just do hold on <laughs> but as i was saying the default number for all items is one so if i enter one right here nothing is going to change everything starts off as one in size however if i were to let's say get out of tool mod and oopsie i forgot to unselect that <laughs> but if i were to get out of tool mod and size it up using shift and the little brackets button um now it's giant of course and if i go into tool mod and try to click it and then click one it's going to be resized back to its original size and so i can undo that and also when i use the brackets i believe the new scale is two so that just gives you an idea of the scaling how the scaling works so the distance between one and two is pretty big which is why for the most part with scaling you're going to end up using a lot of decimals and so since i wanted to make this smaller i know that the default size is one okay i had to pause my recording real quick but i was basically explaining with the scaling that since one is the default and i want to make this slightly smaller what i'm gonna actually do is go into decimals and i'm gonna enter 0.9 which is obviously slightly smaller than one and so as you can see it got slightly smaller but i still want it to be even tinier so i'm gonna go and try 0.8 and this is basically just how you work with the scaling okay you just go down slightly until 
it's at a decent size for you and so i actually think 0.7 is a good size for me and so i'm gonna go ahead and move it a little closer and then i'm just gonna go back into tool and i'm gonna use alt to move everything at once and i kind of want this like on the curve like it's trash day so i'm just gonna try and put it like just like this actually and hopefully that looks okay once there's like a house placed down on this lot and everything um but yeah and so the next thing that i'm gonna start working with i know i still have all these signs up here but i'm gonna actually go ahead and focus on this little playground area real quick and so i didn't actually think about where i was gonna put this i was kind of just making a playground with the idea of it would be really cute to place it down somewhere but looking at the space that i'm dealing with there's actually not a good area for it except maybe maybe over here if there wasn't all this actually no that's actually probably a lot right <laughs> i actually think that's a lot i actually don't think i can even get over there so never mind but in terms of like an area over here in this area that i'm designated to i don't think there's a super great spot for a playground um but anyway i'm gonna try to see how it looks placed down like this and so i'm actually gonna change the rotation for everything um, again in build mode because I just would prefer to not have to do it by rotating everything um, Like once it's over here off lot I just find it easier to just work with build mode and Not have to work with decimals and all that stuff It's just easier in my opinion to just like click and have things Automatically do things and so I'm just trying to fix up the playground a little bit so that it looks like how it did when it was on this side i know it looks slightly different i don't remember everything how everything was placed down um let's go ahead and put this actually back over here we're gonna move this over a little bit um and then we're gonna put these little toys back down these little functional spring riders they actually go through the floor a little bit because um this little like patch of mulch is sized up so i'm actually gonna go ahead and click on both of these and elevate them at the same time so i'm just gonna go point one see how high that gets and that looks fine to me i don't need it to be super tall or anything so just like that and then before i forget let's go ahead and also move these tables and so let me give it a little bit more space just to make sure it's routable and that sims can actually come over and use the grills and everything but now we're just going to go ahead open up tool mod and we're going to try it and select all of this and see if it makes sense in that new location over there so let's go ahead and just click everything again i'm holding down alt as i'm clicking and i'm just clicking over here oh and i actually did the one thing i said i wasn't supposed to do if that happens you can just go into settings and press undo but all of that stuff just disappeared because i had this radio selected when i shouldn't have so now when we tried it again now it works better and so i'm trying to see if there's like a natural spot where it doesn't look so crazy because it does kind of look crazy right now um yeah it does it is giving a little crazy it is giving a little crazy um, but that is how you would like in theory move items. So let me see. I'm gonna try I'm gonna see if there's like some placement where I can fix it where it won't bother me as much Because right now it just feels out of place is, is the thing that's that's bothering me so Let me see if maybe I move it up like that mm. Okay, and so sorry for cutting out Basically what I ended up doing was I ended up putting the playground section on more of a diagonal and then I went ahead and moved the tables and everything a little bit more this way and so as y'all can see one annoying thing about um the tool mod and not even the tool mod but like just with the world in general is you'll run into issues like this a lot where you know the stuff that is already in the world so like all these plants and stuff all these like lights and everything um those cannot be moved with the tool mod like those are set in stone stuck where they are and so sometimes you'll just have to kind of navigate around them there is a mod that i use in my other saves that gets rid of all of that stuff but it gets rid of all that stuff to the extreme to the point where like it gets it removes everything like literally willow creek is just like a blank slot like all the way through and so i didn't want to have that mod in for this tutorial just so that people wouldn't get too confused um but yeah i'm just letting y'all know that if you see like just 
little bits of grass every now and then just going through certain things using the tool mod um there's not much that people can do about it and to just you know don't don't pay it too much mind um but i wanted to show y'all what i meant about like putting it on the diagonal and so i just wanted to show y'all with this little awning real quick but all i did was on the actual lot i moved it just like that and then with the tool mod i just clicked over here and everything that's all i did i put everything back over here, rotated it, and then moved it back, which is just easier to me than using this like rotate feature. I don't know. Maybe y'all will disagree. Maybe y'all say using the literal rotate button is easier, but to me it's not. And so I just wanted to go ahead and try and put this awning over here over both of the tables. As y'all can see, it's a little bit too small um, to reach over the whole distance. So I'm just going to go to scale and just like how we were doing 0.9 and everything to make things smaller. Now I want to make this bigger than the default one. So I'm just going to try one point. I'm going to take a guess here and do 1.5. And I actually think 1.5 is way too big. So I'm going to go down from here. I'm going to go 1.3. Um, that's a pretty good size. I'm going to see if I can get away with 1.2 though. Um, I think I actually prefer 1.2. And so just like that, I put the little awning over the tables and everything. And I'm going to go ahead and close the tool mod. And so, yeah, that is pretty much everything that I am doing. And so I'll go ahead and show you all with a few more examples. I'm just rotating this grabbing it putting it like over here or something let me back it up a little bit putting it right there let's go ahead and do the same thing with this sign let's go ahead and flip it so that we can put it on this side of the street and we're just letting people know that hey there's a lot over here that's for sale or for lease and then let me go ahead and figure out what i want to do with these signs so i want to put this street sign back here on this corner so i'm just clicking it and i'm doing my best to get back over here and i'm gonna just move it slightly more this way and then slightly more this way i'm gonna try to avoid running into this literal child right here and then just like that that's how i'm gonna leave that street sign mm, for these other signs we can do the slow children playing sign right here since there is the um the school bus here and everything and then i'm actually not going to put this down just because there's no school near here also this one again there's no school here and i don't think this has any swatches um but this is not like a one-way street so people actually can enter so i'm just gonna get rid of that as well and so i think another little final touch that i want to do just to bring again the world to life a little bit more is i'm just gonna go ahead and add in some trees and so i'm gonna try to make sure i add in trees that like fit the vibe of newcrest like i was saying i probably won't be going around putting down palm trees because it's not a palm tree-esque world i mean if, if you want to put down palm trees by all means go ahead but you know i personally do not um and i'm not gonna put them in any particular order just because i'm gonna put the trees like literally all over the place and so i'm just lining them up um based off of what i think looks nice what i think will look nice in the area i think i think that's a good amount for now so that i don't get too confused and too overwhelmed and so just spreading them out a little bit so that i can see them better and make better decisions on which trees i want to put where i'm gonna go ahead and open tool mod grab this alfsy tree and i'm gonna put it back here i think right here like kind of yeah kind of like right there i'm also gonna get a smaller tree like over here and i'm gonna put it more so over here by these little bushes and stuff and then i think i want to get a bigger tree so something like this and i'm gonna put this way back here or maybe maybe higher up actually um like that maybe and also this elf sea tree is kind of blocking the playground i kind of want to be able to see the playground so i'm just sifting it over slightly using the alt key and there we go that's a little bit better so let's go ahead and move this tree i'll go ahead and put it uh, right here i'm gonna also like i said get rid of like this house and this house and this house and everything and put down houses that just look better so don't pay too much mind to the houses and everything they're kind of like ruining the vibes um but i'm gonna go ahead and put that down there let's see i'm just gonna try to get them all to a point where i think they look like they're placed down nicely um, I think I need to put some stuff back here also. So let's go ahead and get this Alfsey tree, put it right there. 
Um, let's get this one, put it over here. This one we can put it more so right there. Okay, and so just like that, I already think the world looks much more, I don't know, alive with all the trees and everything. And so, yeah. Okay, and so just like that, as y'all can see, I've put down majority of the trees. Um, I would still probably move like a couple of things around eventually if I like realize that I didn't like the placement of some things. But for the most part, I do like how this looks. I like how how much more alive it feels, I guess, with all the trees. Um, and so yeah, now that this lot is completely empty, oh, except for this, this is a tree gate that I didn't end up using. I would have probably used that if I was trying to put like a tree on the sidewalks or something. Actually, I might do that actually, hold on. <laughs> let me get it back and then let me try moving it with this tree. So I'm just going to try to sync these two up just so that it's inside the little tree gate. And then I'm going to go into alt with alt and click on both items and let's put it, let's say, let's say right here. And then, I actually don't like how that looks, hold on. I'm gonna move it maybe, maybe over here actually. Okay, something like that. And I think the tree gate is a little bit underneath the ground, so I'm just elevating it. Point one. there we go, just to bring it back up. And so there we go. And so, yes, like I was saying, I feel like the world just feels much more lush and everything now. You could also go in with bushes and everything, which I'm actually going to see if there's any bushes I want to add. I feel like bushes definitely makes more sense, like if you were doing like like more gated areas so if i was taking more time on this little park i might add like shrubbery like toward the back of it or on the sides to cover up like this large little part of it but for the most part since i'm not getting that detailed at the moment i probably won't do anything like that at least for now um let me see if there's some bushes we can maybe just put this down right here by the tree you know you're just you're just making the world as detailed as you really want it to be like like your imagination and whatever you think looks nice is really the only thing limiting you here. You can you can literally put anything down. That's basically all I'm trying to say. And so let me see if I want to put down, yeah, like some flower. Flo Whoa, I don't know why I said it like that. If you want to put down like some flowers, you can put these down over here. Um, I know I have like some, yeah, like stuff like this. So just like these little like flowery patches and everything. I might put this down over here. I'm struggling to get off of it. Hold on. Okay, I'm just going to click something else. Okay, I couldn't get off of it. But yeah, just stuff like that I think is really cute. But now that I think we're done with this little section and area um, and everything, I'm going to go ahead and put a house down right here and see how it looks like if this was actually a world that I was playing a family in and everything. Okay, and so I went ahead and placed down one of my older builds. Um, this is not how the build originally looks by any means because it was originally made for a, it was made for a 30 by 20 lot that faces this way. And so I kind of had to like slice it in half to get it to look like it belonged on this plot. But basically, um, this is the little house. Like I said, it looks a little crazy because I it got split in half. It literally got split in half. As you can see, there's no wallpaper and stuff. Um, but yes, so. So I just went ahead and put it down and you can see how it kind of looks much more natural um, than, you know, like uh, no shade to EA, but you know, <laughs> it looks much cuter, I think, in this little environment and everything. And so I'm going to go ahead real quick and I'm going to go ahead and put down other custom lots, um, not particularly by me, but I'm going to go ahead and put down other lots in the surrounding neighborhood and then we are going to look at the neighborhood like as a whole and so give me two seconds and i will be right back again okay and so a few houses later placed down and we have a completed street so let's start at the end of the block hold on <laughs> let's let's start there so that y'all can really feel the full effect of what we've done here today but basically this is just the signs and i'm just gonna go ahead and go down the street with y'all so we're gonna pass some houses i did not create these other houses by the way i only created this one house and like i said it looks a little cray gray um but as y'all can see like it just it just looks more realistic like neighborhood wise you know um i think i would probably put something over here 
um, but yeah, as y'all can see, like, look at the sky, look at the cars on the ground. Um, I think if I was taking more time, I would probably like even change out these streets with some more realistic streets and just look at it during the different like times of day. So here's like midday, here's evening lightning, and then here's nighttime lighting. Like it looks so good and so realistic more importantly. But yes, that is going to be it for me in this tutorial video. I hope that I explained everything to y'all in a way that was very clear. Hopefully I wasn't going too fast. Hopefully I was explaining everything that I was doing as I was doing it in a way that made sense. Um, and if I wasn't, make sure y'all let me know, you know, if there's still some questions that y'all have after watching the video, feel free to comment them down below and I will do my best to answer them in a timely manner but yes make sure you like this video comment subscribe if you're not subscribed already and i will see you all in my next video bye guys